Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky. I am a clinical pharmacist practitioner. Anyway, I should have said I am an advanced clinical pharmacist practitioner, recently got promoted. <laughs> now, today I'm going to discuss about how to check your hands okay how to check your hands at home this video is made for general population general public to check their hands so that you can identify if there is anything underlying going on and when to speak to a clinician in order to do further investigation okay so i'm gonna go one hand condition at a time and i'm gonna tell you and explain you how you're gonna examine your hands at home so are you guys ready yeah let's start now first of all are the hands cold if the hands are cold that means the heart pumping out blood at each beat is slow and low okay and uh, there can be problems with your thyroid glands as well. That means you can be hypothyroid. And if the hands are warm, that means the heart is pumping out blood at each bead at a faster rate. And there can be carbon dioxide retention build up in your body as well. Okay, now, now let's discuss about um, what happens if your hands are cold and sweaty if the hands are cold and sweaty there can be many many factors involved here okay. so what happens like when the hands are like cold and sweaty when the hands are cold and sweaty that means the heart is racing faster okay the breathing rate is very high okay there can be hypertension like high blood pressure um you can be very agitated in that case your hands are gonna get cold and sweaty and there there can also be like you know you you are sweating in an unusual way okay this this can be due to any disease condition or this can be due to any side effects of a drug okay and uh, your muscles can be stiff as well okay these are all the symptoms uh, associated with cold and sweaty hands so this condition as you can see there are like white dots lines in the fingers this is called leukonychia leukonychia it can be due to liver disease or it can be due to a deficiency of a protein in the body called albumin so, this is another condition which is known as colon chias. In colon chias, the fingernails basically they look spoon shaped, abnormally thin nails, and the nails usually becomes flat or concave in shape. Okay, this 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 is another picture of colon chias. As you can see, the normal finger nail and the fingernail in colon chias okay this is another condition which is known as clubbing in clubbing what happens is that there is loss of nail bed angle and this happens when there is a disease condition basically of the heart or the lungs and there is inflammation of the heart's inner linings or any kind of heart disease from birth as you can see in this picture, the normal fingernail and the clubbed fingernail, okay? There is a test which is called scam Roth's widow test. In scam Roth's widow test, basically, you can put your fingers together like this and see whether your fingernails are normal or clubbed. This is another condition. This is known as splinter hemorrhages. I have taken a snapshot when I, re you know, Google the images. Now, what happens in splinter hemorrhages? In splinter hemorrhages, there are tiny blood spots that appear underneath the skin can be associated with inflammation of the inner linings of the heart. Okay. This is another condition which is called Osler's node. In Osler's node, basically, 
Uh, these nodes arises from bacterial or fungal infection of the innermost tissue that layers the chamber of the heart. Okay, there are more pictures of Osler nodes. This is one example. I've taken this from uh, Darmnet. Um, this is Osler's nodes as well. As you can see, another picture of Osler. Basically, Janeway lesions are rare, non-tender. Okay, redness of the skin. Redness of the skin, which means like increased blood flow to different tissues in the body of the capillaries when the skin becomes red in the hand. So Janeway lesions are rare, non-tender, redness of the skin. They are like broken blood vessels, macular, popular, nodular lesions. So macular means flat, distinct, discolored areas of the skin, which is less than one centimeter in diameter. Papular means raised area of skin tissue that's less than one centimeter around. Now, nodular means any lump under skin at least one centimeter in size, okay? So, macular are flat. They are flat, distinct, discolored areas of skin less than one centimeter in diameter. Papular is raised, raised area of skin tissue. Papular Papules are like not flat. They are raised areas of skin tissue. That's less than one centimeter around. Nodular means any lump under the skin at least one centimeter in size. Okay. So this macular, papular, nodular lesions on the palms or soles of feet only a few millimeter in diameter that are associated with infl infection or inflammation of heart linings and are often distinguishable from Osler's nodes. So as you can see in these pictures, like in this picture, like, you know, Osler's nodes and genuilations. So you can distinguish between Osler's nodes and genuilations. Now this condition in the hands, this is erythema. Erythema is redness of skin, as I have mentioned, that it is due to increased blood flow to different tissues in the body of the capillaries. This is another condition which is called Dupuytren's contractures. Dupuytren's contractures can be due to liver disease, diabetes, thyroid disease. As you can see where the cord is, where there is this thickening of palmar fascia. So where the cord is, that region is called palmar fascia. This region is in between little and index fingers. Okay, so... This is Dupuytren's contractures and it can happen due to liver disease, diabetes or thyroid disease. As you can see in this picture that the left and the right hand bones, both of, their, um, both of them are affected. Both of them are affected by rheumatoid arthritis. In rheumatoid arthritis, both the hands, both the joints in the hands are affected in a symmetrical way. Okay, now what is rheumatoid arthritis? Rheumatoid arthritis is like it is an autoimmune disease. This means your immune system, immune system which usually fights against infection, attacks the cells that line your joints by mistake, making the joints swollen, stiff, painful. Over time, this damage the joints, cartilage and nearby bone. This is rheumatoid arthritis, okay? This picture, this picture, as you can see, both the hands, it's not, there is no symmetry here. It's asymmetric, okay? Now, asymmetrically, when the joints are affected, then you have to understand it can be osteoarthritis or gout, okay? Osteoarthritis is a condition that causes joints to become painful and stiff, Osteoarthritis occurs when the cartilage that cushions the ends of the bones in your joints gradually deteriorates. Now, and what is gout? Gout is a very common problem. Gout, in gout, sudden, there is like sudden pain and swelling in a joint when there is too much uric acid level in the body. All right? Okay, now this is another condition uh, this is peripheral cyanosis. Peripheral cyanosis is when hands, fingertips, feet turn blue and they're not getting enough oxygen-rich blood. 
this is peripheral cyanosis okay this is spider nevi spider nevi can be presentation of alcoholic cir cirrhosis liver cirrhosis that means there is damage to the liver due to excess drinking okay and there is like esophageal variceal bleeding what does that mean right so basically what happens this develops when the normal blood flow to liver is blocked by a clot or scar tissue in the liver to go around the blockages blood flows into smaller blood vessels that aren't designed to carry large volumes of blood the vessels can leak blood or even rupture causing life threatening bleeding now i'm going to show you hands for liver flap okay i'm showing this test so that you can do the do this like at home and find out when your wrist is extended okay if there is tremor when the wrist is extended okay this tremor will only happen if there is any damage or disease that affects the brain due to um, kidney failure stroke liver disease metabolic condition drug that's affecting the brain okay so what you need to do you need to put your hands like that okay do it okay and then you that, that's what that is this is called asterixis okay tremor when the wrist is extended and if you don't have any damage to the brain then this tremor will not happen okay asterixis can also happen when there is like um, excess copper buildup in the body and when excess copper builds up in the body basically it is a genetic disorder called wilson's disease now I have explained all about how to check your hands at home and I have tried to explain without any medical jargons. This video is only for the general population, okay, not for medical students. And uh, yes, thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. Um, do press the bell button so that you can get the notifications whenever I upload a new video. Like and follow my Facebook page. Um, clinical pharmacist practitioner Pinky. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye.